Hey everybody, it's Jeremy Osterberger. We're here at Downstream USA 2023. I'm with Chris Abeles of Aspen Aerogels. Chris, welcome to the Bic booth and thanks for hanging out with us. Appreciate it, good to be here. So Chris, uh, for people that don't know what you do at Aspen, talk a little bit about your role. Yeah, so at Aspen, uh, I'm a sales director, but you know, Aspen's fore end of the market is to provide high value solutions uh, using thermal insulation. And you know, we make a high-tech composite that really provides value to the end user in many different ways. And we're here to kind of to meet our customers. Downstream has been a great venue for us to do that. Um, but really in that conversation, we're trying to figure out you know, what the goals of our customer are, the pain points, and really provide that, 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 that value to them to, to make their lives easier, quite simply. And Chris, you're in your value proposition, who do you really need to communicate with in order to explain that value proposition? Is that engineers specking in your product? Talk, talk about your process of who do you need to get to in order to provide value to a client? Yeah, no, that's a great question. You know, uh, we, we have a, a, a value chain kind of not, not different than most people here. We sell through distribution and contractors, and they can provide, they can receive some of that value as well. But, but we're really after the, the spec writers, the engineers in charge of some of these units who deal with these problems on a day-to-day -day basis, right? Those are the ones feeling the pain every day. They wake up worried about how they're going to keep their process going, how they're going to make money, how they're going to comply with new regulations, and that's where really where we come in. And those are the types of people we find here at Downstream. And Chris, speaking of regulations, right, big push over 2020, 35, 2050 emissions goals and meeting ESG requirements. Man, so much of what you guys do has to do with heat loss. Can you dig into that a little bit more? You know, talk about that value proposition for those folks that are that are fighting that every day. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, uh, the great thing about thermal insulation is 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 we do heat loss. That's that's what we do. That's one of the main values we provide. And what's great is it really doesn't matter, you know, hot or cold or or, or what you're actually you know working on. You know, we can provide that value. And so we really keep hot things hot, cold things cold, and the energy you put into to making those processes run. We, we don't let that escape to the environment. You know, again, we have a high technology insulation that really just works better than the standard stuff. Sure. Well, well, Chris, uh, thank you so much for joining us. Before we head out, if people want to learn more about Aspen Aerogels, tell them where to go. Yeah, no, our website, www.aerogel.com. We have a booth here, obviously, with you guys. Yeah. Uh, we, we love the work that you guys do and uh, big fans of you, and uh, we hope to interface with as many people as we can. And Chris, thank you so much for hanging out. One last question. Chris, tell us about uh, your experience of working with Vic. We've been working with you guys for probably over a decade now. Absolutely. You know, we find Vic to be an, a wonderful, like, one-stop shop for kind of what's going on in the industry. And really important to us, obviously, like most people, we don't have infinite resources. So mm -hmm. utilizing a resource like Vic is really important to make sure that, that we're focused on the right things and talking to the right people. So it, it's, it's been a great partnership. Thank you, Chris, for those comments. Absolutely. Absolutely.